Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Veak, and today we're gonna play a game called Urban Pirate. And it's a turn-based 2D retro style in the game. Or to be exact, it's an urban crime simulator. And it's made by an indie studio called BD Games. And this is the actual beta demo, so nothing's final whatsoever. So now I'm gonna show you what Urban Pirate is all about. Okay, this is the very beginning here. This is Sheep Island, the place where you grew up. Okay, you grew up. Home of zero killers, okay. Conservatives, violent police, alcoholic politicians and other citizens of modern colonial civilization. You always felt different from the crowd from an early age. You were longing to see the world, to be the master of your own life, to become an urban pirate! One day you quit your job. Well, I can't blame him, because that job doesn't look all that, well, you know, fun. And set off to begin your life as a pirate. In the forest of the western part of Sheep Island. All you have is 65 bucks, <laughs> no job, with no intentions of getting one. And a lust to live dangerously. So here we go, we're gonna start from level 1. Okay, I have to survive for 10 days. And here's our hero, or should I say anti-hero. Freaking love this game. Okay, socialize. That's actually how you're supposed to, well, keep your mental health in, well, check. Because you have to care about uh, your mental health, which would be the screen up here, and there's an 8 besides it. And uh, you also have to care about stuff such as eating, which would be this rainbow guy here, just below, uh, above the food, I mean. And, uh, well. That's the point. So when you want the day to pass by, you just press, press space. And you're back at the camp, and as you see, I lost, well, one happiness point, or what should you call it, mental health point, perhaps. And I also lost one, uh, well, food point. But no worries, because I can steal food. And I was successful as well. So happiness in slavery, or what should I call it. Then you just have to keep up doing that. And then you eat, of course. And I have to say that Urban Pirate made me think about the mix of Skate or Die, Ghostbusters for the, well, the Commodore 64, and The Last Ninja. Well, at least that's the vibes I felt while playing for an hour or so. And I'm gonna keep on socializing here. And of course you have to keep on stealing stuff because you don't want to, well, you know, starve to death. You pretty much just have to repeat the procedure, but this is just level 1. It's gonna become harder, trust me. This is just like the testing stage. Okay, I'm spotted by a detective. You are fine at 50 bucks. Okay, warning never to return. Okay, never seen that one before. What the fuck? Goddamn asshole. So I have to pay the fucking fine. Fucking hell, I'm broke as fuck now because of that. But I gained a new skill, so... <laughs> and some experience points. <laughs> you eat a free dumpster meal in squat soup kitchen. Okay, that looks like a gumbo kind of soup. As long as I don't get, you know, food poison and shit, then I'm all good to go. <laughs> I wonder how much stuff I can steal from the shop. I mean, I have to go bro. I really have to say that I like retro graphics in this game. I mean, the whole game is like a uh, social satire kind of thing. I mean, I'm a goddamn urban pirate stealing food and stuff. Okay, Sheep Island News. The cops are now patrolling the city due to an increase in crime rate. Yeah, I wonder why. Could it possibly be because I steal shit all the time? And I have to work some in the bar to earn myself money, but now I can buy some fucking weed. Yes! I'm gonna shoplift. Okay, I can do that now. Okay, the cops raided my work. Well, my uh, supervisor, what the hell I should call it, my work uh, place. I'm gonna smoke some weed. <laughs> puff puff. Insane in the brain with Cypress Hill. Should loop that song all through this game, seriously. Okay, the cops has been raiding my <laughs> workplace for like two days straight. I'm gonna buy some more <laughs> weed. This is a kind of like Pizza Tycoon, if you remember the first game when you bought <laughs> weapons. Uh, well, there was like a code word in the game, like buying vanilla, chocolate, ice cream and stuff like that. But all the ice creams were actually weapons of different sorts. But in Urban Pirate you buy weed instead. And you actually get to see how much weed you have spo uh, smoked uh, throughout one level at the very end of the stage. Oh fuck, it's the police! It's the fucking pigs, run! Oh shit. Have to avoid the pigs. Smoke some more weed. 
Just fooling around. But I'm broke as fuck. Okay, here we go again. It's the fucking pigs! Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck! Oh snap, they caught me. Okay, I'm fine with 50 bucks. God damn. All of this because some goddamn fruit. And some juice. But this game is from Denmark, so I don't know. The cops seems to be pretty hardcore over there. They got no shield whatsoever. Okay, the cops has been raiding my, well, work place for like three days straight. Got to love that music. God damn. Intense. Fear no stress, but stress like hell. Okay, I'm going to Yale. The fuck? And I'm starving. This sucks. Oh shit. This is not going well. Okay, I've gone insane. You fought the war and the war won. And steal some stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh fuck. It's the pigs. They're coming for my sorry ass. It's a hard life being a shoplifter, obviously. At least in Denmark. So the pigs are going ape shit here. Uh, play safe? Okay, screw that. Play it hard. Oh shit, you're spotted by a detective, so here we go again. Oh snap. Oh, ah fuck. Now I actually get the chance to start some riots here. The cocktail party. Go to the squad to fight the cops. Being arrested after throwing a Molotov cocktail means long time prison. Stay, stay in tear gas for too long will make you choke. Okay, so I'm off to fight the cops then. Okay, fight back, fight the cops. Okay, can throw some stones on this. Uh oh, gas. Okay, throw it down a toilet. <laughs> Burn you bastards! In your face! Oh shit! More gas! Oh shit! Ah, I got it. Bastard. Oh god, damn cops. There we go. Run away, bastards. Aha! Victory! But they promised to return, okay. Oh well, I won. I won against the cops. This is actually as far as I have, well, reached in this game so far. Now the stages are even more hardcore when you're on a level 5. Oh shit, I fucked up. Oh well. Oh yes, they stole my weed. Those goddamn pigs. So the basic, uh, well, tactics and strategy would be to steal food, buy weed, well, pretty much stay happy and stay fed and avoid cops and getting caught. I think you get the idea what uh, Urban Pirate is all about anyhow, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I haven't managed to get beyond this point, so if you liked the video then subscribe, comment and of course like, so just have a great day people, this is VX signing out, bye bye. Well thank you very much for watching our video ladies and gentlemen, tons of love to you. Now don't you forget to click this nice subscribe button down here so that you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to show us some support for our videos, then show us some love on Patreon. With that said, take care, have a nice day, adios.